So I'm finally doing my skincare routine. I'm sorry it took so long to get this together. I know a lot of you have been waiting and this is the second time I filmed it. So I just decided to do it on my iPhone. I didn't think it was really important to have that perfect clarity of the pictures and it's a lot easier to do in the bathroom. You are actually in my medicine cabinet right now looking out at me in my bathroom. So one of the first things for skincare that is the most important is what you put into your body. I think a lot of people overlook that and they forget that it doesn't matter how much you do topically to your skin, that you have to eat healthy and take vitamins and stay out of the sun and not abuse your body, not smoke and not drink too much or at all. And that makes a huge difference. Um, also getting enough sleep, keeping your stress level down is another way to stay looking youthful. When you're overtired and overstressed, it's, it's going to show through. You're gonna see that on your skin. So I always take a multivitamin every day. This is my kind organic, certified organic, woman's multi over 40, and this is vegan. And I am over 40, I'm 48 years old, I'll be 49 this year, and I'm also a vegan. Um, I eat really clean, really healthy, not always, I do eat some processed food, but for example, I'm sitting here in my bathroom drinking my morning kale shake, and this is kale and protein, so also just think about what you're putting into your body, because it will make a huge difference on how your skin looks. Um, the other thing I use is photoceramides or lipo wheat, and this is amazing for dry skin. I've been using this for years. Ever since I started using it, my dry skin is gone. The, my scalp used to flake and peel, especially in the winter. Not anymore. I have no more dry skin or dry scalp other than if I'm using products on my face that are forcing my skin to peel, no more dry skin. So I'll start with my morning routine. I just finished washing my face and I use the Obagi Nuderm Medical Vine. And I just wash my face with the foaming gel. I just put it on my hands, massage my face, rinse it with water. The next thing I do in the morning is I have this little mix of natural oils that I made. It is melted coconut oil, jojoba oil, and sweet almond oil. And after I wash my face, I put this all over. And I use extra coconut oil right out of the tub and I get my face completely soaked with these oils. I'll show you why in a minute. Now I started using something new and I can't really tell you if it's working yet, but I will update you if it does work. I purchased this Derma Wand And it says Derma Wand Radio Frequency Skin Care. Look years younger with thermal energy and enriched oxygen. Reduce the appearance of lines and wrinkles, puffy eyes, saggy, tired complexion, enlarged pores. It purifies, oxygenates, stimulates, and rejuvenates. And some of the pictures on here are pretty incredible. So I thought I would give it a try. So this, the Derma One directions say to use your favorite moisturizer on your face, but I like to use my natural oils. So I slather my face with that. And this is it. You hear that? It almost feels like it kind of tickles and it feels like, um, 
if you get like a, a shock from static, but not as much. I've got this turned up all the way. So I do this all over my face. Um, I turn it down when I go around my eyes. I turn it down to like, it says to do it on two, but of course I do it on five. I do it on like four or five right around my eyes. And I do that for mm, about a minute. Do the other eye. Then I turn it all the way up. Do my forehead. I do this for about two minutes on my forehead. Then I do the nasal labial folds around my nose all the way down. Do that for like another two minutes and I'm working on these little lines that I have right here. I have had these since I was like my late 20s. And you guys, I am just ashamed and embarrassed to admit, but I'm going to tell you, people who know me know this. I smoked for 20 years um, on and off, but I did. And it made my skin look so much older. And I swear that's where these lines came from. Um, I quit completely um, almost seven years ago and I will never ever ever go back to smoking. I, I can't believe I ever did that to myself or to my body. Um, when I did quit, it's amazing. It's like my skin started aging in reverse. It, it looked like I had a facelift, like my skin just plumped up. It looked shinier. It looked healthier. It was incredible. So just know that if you do smoke or if you ever did smoke, that your skin will start rejuvenating, it will start healing. And most importantly, inside your body, your lungs and, and all of your organs will start healing. So you can reverse it, it's not too late. So if you smoke, you guys, you can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it. So I just keep using this for, I try not to overdo it, um, plus I don't want to waste too much time in the morning. So I just do this for probably a total of 10 minutes, I think. I never really time it. But when I'm working on these little tiny lines right here, I kind of rub on it. And then I go up. It gives you, um, in the Derma Wand directions, it gives you these kind of exercises that you can do with the Derma Wand. So, like I said, I'm not promoting this product right now because I haven't used it long enough to let you know if um, I've seen any difference. But I kind of feel like if it's oxygenating my skin, that's, that's one plus. So even if I don't see a difference yet, I feel like I'm doing something good for my skin. And everything that I do, I do from home. I do all of my um, treatments and everything that I'm showing you now. Instead of going to a spa, I do them from home. After I'm done with the Derma Wand, I use my Dickinson's Witch Hazel Pads. I used to work for this company over 20 years ago where they manufacture this and I love it and I still use it. And these are called cleansing cloths. I will link every single thing that I'm talking about and where I purchase everything. I am completely not getting paid for this. None of these products are sponsored. This is truly what I use and what is working for me and all of the links that I give you is exactly where I purchase my own products from. So I wipe all of the oils off after the Derma Wand. Then after I wipe my face off with the Witch Hazel, I put my natural oils back on my face, just not as thick as I did initially.
and every not every day but some days are different what I do in the morning um, some days that's it that's all I do some days I don't use the derma wand but um, I'll put my natural oils on my face and then I'll go put my makeup on so my skin is nice and hydrated if it's a day where I'm going out during the day and I'm going to be exposed to the Sun I will put my CeraVe AM facial moisturizer on over this so my skin is super hydrated um, if it is a day that I am going say to the beach or I know I'm gonna have a lot of Sun beating on me during the day I will use my Neutrogena age shield face oil free lotion and this is a broad spectrum SPF 110 and so I'll use that and then I use my all May smart shade anti-aging foundation and this has an SPF of 20 Then over that, I will use my Physician's Formula Bronzer and I use this little sponge. You can also use this to apply liquid foundation. So I'll rub this in the bronzer and I'll use this to put it all over my face, kind of cheeks and around here and it gives me like that nice beachy glow. And this has SPF, I think it's 50. I can't read this without my glasses on. Oh no, I see it, it's 30, SPF 30. Then I will take, um, this is just the one that I used last year. This is Sport Clear Spray Broad Spectrum 50. Uh, it's a spray. And then I'll close my eyes and I'll spray this all over my face. And throughout the day, while I'm in the sun or at the beach, I continue to spray this on my face. Um, I don't know why I got this one last year. I was looking for one for faces, but I couldn't find one. But this didn't make me break out. It was really, it worked great for me. So that's what I would do on a day that I'm in the sun. So today I am actually not putting on any makeup I'm going to be working from home so what I'll do probably uh, it depends I go through different spurts of what I'm doing to my skin depending on what it's looking like um, right now it, we are in the dead of winter and my skin is so dry and it always looks older um, when it gets dried out whether it's in the winter or from being in the Sun um, so this is glycolic acid 15% and I'm almost out of this. I just reordered a different brand and I will also link that below. So today I'm going to use my glycolic acid and this will make your skin peel. So my forehead for some reason is the toughest part of my face well probably for most people so i will just load my forehead up with this and i can go like right here without getting any severe severe peeling and maybe a little bit right there glycolic acid is great for so many things it will um, slough off the old dead skin after a couple days. Um, I'll probably do this three days in a row and then that skin will start to kind of crack and slough off and there's beautiful fresh glowing skin under there. So I'll do that maybe once a month. Um, another thing it's great for is if you get a pimple, you can put this on there and it helps um, exfoliate and get that pimple sometimes it'll be gone the next day um, this is amazing for that I definitely don't use this every day so like I said depending on what my skin is doing will depend on what I'm going to do what I'm going to put on my skin for the day um, I have this prescription it's called mommy ma, mame mame to zone <laughs> Mamedazone, yes, I think that's how you say it. 
and my dad told me about this when he had a really bad rash and I had um, when I first got melasma on my face I took a washcloth and was trying to scrub the darkness off of my face and I literally scrubbed a raw patch on my skin so he told me about this and I put this on and the next day it was almost healed so I went to my doctor and he gave this to me for simple little things like I had um, a pimple right here I don't know if you can see that but um, I had some glycolic acid on it and um, for like two days and this morning when I was washing my face and I wiped it it like bled a little bit so that is the type of thing that I would use this for I don't use it all over my face um, sometimes I'll get these weird little dots around my eyes I'm not really sure what that is but this helps it too so today I'm just going to take a tiny bit of this and put it on that lovely little blemish that is the the pimple part of it is gone but it needs to heal so this will help it heal um i think that's the only thing that i could use it on right oh i actually have a little dot i get these weird like it's not like a rash but it's almost looks like contact dermatitis or something i'm not really sure what it is Another thing that I like to use is my Bare Essentials Rare Minerals Night Renewal Treatment. And it comes in this little puff. I never use that puff. What I do is I open it and it's got the powder inside. And it's I use this um, if I have a really bad blemish. And like, if I was putting on makeup today, or even that I'm not, it covers, it's got a tint to it. This is medium. So it works almost to conceal. That's totally gone, you can't see that at all. And I know that everything I'm putting on my face right now, this um, is like a foundation, but it's also treating my skin. It's not just covering it. Um, so anywhere on my face, that I have these little marks I'll put on before I put on my foundation or if I'm not wearing any foundation that day, I'll still use this for any little marks that need to be treated and covered. I don't, I think this one is discontinued but they have another packaging. I'm pretty sure it's the same formula but I'll, again, I'll link all of that below. So I decided to do my whole entire skincare routine, morning and night, all in this one video. Um, for my nighttime routine, I also use the Obagi New Derm Foaming Gel, and I will use this to wash my face, and this gets off my makeup amazing. For the waterproof makeup, like eye makeup, I use pure coconut oil. <laughs> so after I wash my face with the Obagi foaming gel, I do the same thing, the natural oils, um, melted coconut oil, jojoba oil, and sweet almond oil. And I put that mostly just around my mouth and my eyes. Those are the, the areas that get the most dry and that I really want hydrated all the time. I use my Obagi Clear, this is number three. And I'll wait about 30 seconds until that sets. Then I use my Obagi Blender number five and my Tretinoin Cream. This is 0.05%. And I mix these together 50-50 on my hand. And then I'll put that all over my face. I have been using the Obagi New Derm line for about seven years and I started using this because I had really bad 
melasma or hyperpigmentation where I had this mask of darkness. You can probably see a little bit of it. It's not completely gone. It's like a mask of darkness that I get here, um, under my eyes, around my mouth. Really the only place that it still is hanging out a little bit is on my forehead. And it's just kind of like a dark mask that won't go away. So this is like a skin lightening and brightening product, um, but it does have hydroquinone in it. And I just decided I really want to try something that's more natural. I'm really all about using as many natural products as I can. So I ordered the Obagi FX and that is skin lightening um, from a plant. So I will let you know how that works as soon as I get it. I'm going to start using it until then. This is still what I'm using. So I mix these together, put that all over my face. And sometimes, not every night, I would say maybe once a week, I will use my Kiehl's Abacene Eye Cream. And again, this is not an every night thing because I use my natural oils. Next, I have this little mixture that I made for my eyebrows and my eyelashes. And this is black Jamaican castor oil, coconut oil, and extra virgin olive oil. And I made two different containers of it. This one is for my hair, and this one is for my eyebrows and eyelashes. So what I do is just take a Q-tip and I dunk it in there, and I spread it on my eyelashes and on my eyebrows, and I go to sleep with that on. This has definitely helped my eyebrows fill in and my eyelashes get longer. So for my hair, I will just squirt this all over my hair and saturate it and then put it up in a um, either a shower cap or a bag just to hold in the moisture. And I will leave that in anywhere from an hour to overnight. And then I wash it out the next day. And this definitely helps with hair growth. Um, a few years ago, I mean, I have got the craziest, thickest hair. It's out of control. And I always used to complain about like how thick my hair was and I couldn't stand it because I couldn't do anything with it. And it would just took so much time to style my hair. Well, a couple of years ago, my hair started breaking off and getting thin. And I seriously thought there was something wrong with me. I thought I was sick. I, I, I didn't know. So before I started panicking, I tried this concoction with the black Jamaican castor oil, the extra virgin olive oil, and the coconut oil. And I, well, first I trimmed off the dead ends of my hair, um, then I started using this. I would say within two weeks, my hair started thickening up again, and it, it was like my, my old hair again, but better. Uh, my hair has continued since then to be growing like crazy. Um, all I do is trim the split ends and so I can keep the length. And my hair has been so healthy and growing like crazy. So if you want your hair to grow, I would definitely try this for your hair on your head and your eyelashes and eyebrows. There are some days that I don't do my whole nighttime routine if I'm really tired or if I just want to give my skin a break that night. I would say I do this maybe once a month, sometimes once a week. It, it, it really depends. I just go by how I'm feeling and how my skin is looking. So on the nights that I don't use my Obagi, I use my CeraVe PM Moisturizer. And this has, it's non-comedogenic, non-irritating. It has ceramides, nia niacinamides, and hydraulic acid. So this does not dry out your face at all. So this is a nice break for my face. And some people I know use this every single day and it's an amazing product and it's not expensive. This is a drugstore product. 
Um, the last thing that I do before I go to bed, um, I always have to have my lips hydrated and I've tried everything under the sun. And a couple of years ago, I tried um, zinc oxide. And I know this is so weird because this is used for things like poison ivy, poison oak, um, diaper rash, <laughs> and I use it on my lips. Um, it, this, I don't, I don't know why I like it. It's really weird and it turns my lips completely white. But it stays on and my lips get so hydrated throughout the night. So, yep, every night I go to bed with white lips. <laughs> Um, I'm just going to throw in what, how I keep my teeth so white because I'm trying to think of all of the questions that you guys have been asking me. So I'm just going to throw this in also because it's kind of part of my routine. Um, I use an electric toothbrush. This is just a cheap Oral-B one. Um, we put one battery in. I use um, sensitive whitening toothpaste twice a day. Um, I floss every single night. I use um, mouthwash, antiseptic mouthwash, um, twice a day before I brush my teeth. I have found that has kept the tartar off of my teeth and kept my mouth much cleaner and my teeth are so healthy. Um, for whitening, I use this Plus White system. It is so much cheaper than using um, like the white strips that I used to use were so expensive and this works so much better. It's just a gel and it comes with this little mouth tray and you can either squirt it in there or just on your teeth. I personally just squirt it right on my teeth, put this in, <laughs> leave this for like anywhere from five to 20 minutes. I usually leave it for 20 minutes. And then you rinse with the plus white rinse. It's one capful of rinse, uh, two capfuls of water, swish that out. And when I first started using this, um, what you can do is use this every day until you get your teeth as white as you want. And now I only use this like maybe once a month and it keeps my teeth super white. Just be aware, talk to your dentist first if you have any problems with your teeth. If you have um, cavities or need root canal or real super sensitive teeth. Um, my daughter tried this and she was so excited to use it and the next day her face swelled up and she didn't feel good. She went into the dentist and they said that she needed a root canal. So. I guess this product had gotten into an irritated area of her tooth. Um, so just please check with your, your dentist before you use this. Make sure that you don't have any issues going on in your mouth. Um, for me, my teeth are really healthy. These are all my teeth. I actually had a comment asking if I had veneers on my teeth. Nope, these are all my teeth. This is how I keep them white and healthy. So another thing that a lot of you have been asking is what procedures have I had on my face? I have had absolutely nothing done. I have never had Botox. I have never had fillers. I have never had any kind of anti-aging procedures done on my face. Every single thing that I do, I do myself and this is everything that I showed you. I really, really believe that taking care of yourself and what you put into your body is just as important as the products that you're using. Um, these products that I'm using have made a huge, huge, huge shift in the way that my skin is looking. Um, another thing I have done microdermabrasion um, at a salon before and I'm not saying anything bad about it at all, but it just really didn't do anything for me. I know that it exfoliates your skin. I actually bought one, I'll show it to you. This is really heavy. So I got this diamond microdermabrasion kit and this was about $300. But if you think about what you pay for one session at a skin or day spa, 
um, it's over $100 for one session. So spending $300 on this was a steal. So these are all the pieces that come with it. And this is the little um, diamond microderm suction pieces. And it comes with the filters and I'll show you the machine. This is my Nova microderm erasure machine. And I kind of felt like it was making my melasma worse. So I stopped using it for like two years. I didn't use this at all. Um, I just started using it again about once every six months just to slough off the, the um, dead skin. And I keep it on a really low setting. So all it's doing is suctioning the um, dry skin off of my face and helping it to exfoliate. So um, do I think everyone needs to purchase one of these? No. Um, I actually was thinking of selling it for a while and then I decided to keep it. And like I said, I use it maybe twice a year. So that is every single thing that I use on my skin morning and night. And you guys, my biggest tip is you have to believe that you're beautiful. Don't think of yourself as getting old. Like I said, I'm 48, I'll be 49 this year. I don't feel it. You have to feel young in your heart. You have to be a beautiful person inside. You have to like shine that love through. Just focus on being happy. And I have been through hell and back. And some of you guys who have, who know me personally or have followed my blog where I talk about all of the surgeries and all of the physical pain and issues that I go through, you guys know, like I haven't had it easy. And my body has been through hell and back. I've been through a lot emotionally, but I don't let that keep me down. I just, I'm choosing to be a happy person and I'm choosing to love my life and it shows. And I feel like the happier I get and the more that I love life and I help other people, the more I swear I look younger. It's almost like, it, it shines through and you can see it and other people can feel it. And they're like, you're so much more beautiful than your pictures when I see you in person because it's coming from my heart. It's coming from truly who I am as a person. So just remember that, tap into who you are and the beauty that you have inside of you and, and believe that you're beautiful. Honestly, it doesn't matter what anybody says about you, whether people say you're ugly, you're pretty, whatever. It doesn't matter until you believe it in your heart. You have to truly love yourself and block out what anyone has ever said to you because you are beautiful. You are. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Bye.